Welcome to Bangkok Hospital Expert Talk with the Iron Lasik Centre. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. Um, nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you too. Please, could you explain a bit about how uncontrolled diabetes can affect vision and health? Okay, so uncontrolled diabetes. With diabetes, your blood sugar is going to be high, right? With high blood sugar, it does activate a lot of inflammatory pathways inside the eye, actually all over the body and it affects all the microcirculations in the body. For the eye itself specifically, it will affect the blood vessels in the eye, causing small microneurism or small outpouching of the blood vessels in the eye, which will lead to rupture of these things and cause bleeding inside the eye with bleeding spots in the retina. It can also make the blood vessels become leaky and cause swelling in the back of the eyes, which will lead to vision loss. In uh, more severe cases, these, uh, there will be lack of blood supply to the retina itself from the occlusion of the blood vessels. They can also cause tractions, fibrous tractions in the eye, pull the retina up, cause renal detachment. It can also affect the pressure inside the eye, leading to glaucoma and blindness. So it, it can be mild, moderate and severe. And what would be the treatments for each mild, moderate and severe? Okay, so for mild cases where there are only some small outpouching of the blood vessels or some, sm some small bleeding areas without any effect on the vision, in these mild cases, the main treatment would probably be to control the systemic diseases, specifically the blood sugar, blood pressure and cholesterol, and also regular follow-up with your ophthalmologist just to make sure that things are not getting any worse. For more severe cases where there are some swelling in the back of the eyes or what we call diabetic macular edema, you may need injections into the eye to try to control this swelling, make the swelling goes away and potentially increase your eyesight, improve your vision. For more severe cases where there are abnormal vessel growth, you may require laser treatments. Actually, the laser treatment can be treated for swelling outside the center as well, but for severe cases, we laser to try to destroy the peripheral retina to decrease the demand of blood supply inside the retina and also preserve the central vision. In more severe cases where there are um, fibrous tractions or a lot of bleeding inside the eye, you may require surgery, what which we call vitrectomy, where we go inside the eye to remove the vitreous gel, pull the fibrous traction out, do laser treatments. And we may need to put some gas or some oil in the eye to stabilize the retina. For glaucoma, we need to eye drops to control the eye pressure. And if that is not controlled, you may need glaucoma surgery by a glaucoma specialist as well. Are there any warning signs or symptoms people should look out for? Okay, so for milder cases where there are no significant changes in the back of the eyes yet, if your blood sugar is not controlled, sometimes these will cause uh, changes in your glasses prescription. You may have refractive errors changing up and down. So some patients will come and see us with, okay, why am I vision not stabilized? Why do I have to change my glasses so often? So these cases are sometimes early signs of diabetic changes in the eye, uh, diabetic effects in the eye as well. Are there any health tips or prevention tips people should take? Okay, so for preventing diabetic retinopathy, the first thing would probably be to control your blood sugar. Blood sugar control helps significantly with uh, progression of the diabetic retinopathy. So if you have a diabetic patient and your blood sugar is very, very good controlled, I've seen patients with um, maybe 20 or 30 years of di diabetes without any significant changes to the retina itself. So maybe some mild changes, but that does not affect the eyesight in any way. Uh, other than that, it would probably be to control the other diseases as well, including cholesterol and blood pressure. Go see your, your ophthalmologist regularly for screenings of diabetic changes in the eye, and also so if you are a smoker, quit smoking will also help minimize the risk of microvascular complications. Would you recommend a one annual checkup? Well, if you are a diabetic patient without any vision loss yet, I would recommend to see the eye doctor at least once or twice a year to make sure for to, to see if there's any changes in the eyes yet. But once diabetic retinopathy is diagnosed, it depends on the staging. So the frequency of the follow-up period will probably be determined by the severity of the changes in the eye and also if any treatment is required yet. Thank you so much. That was very helpful information. You're welcome. Hope this is useful for anyone watching and any diabetic patients you know when to see the eye doctor and to take care of your health of your eyes. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Please join us in the next episode.